Hi, Oxford Terrace. Uh, it's been a while since I did one of these, but I uh, thought it was time for a bit of a catch up. And this is the, 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 the midweek update. I'll just read from today's Bible reading, which I thought was a really good one for this time of the year. We're just about at Easter. This coming Sunday is Palm Sunday. And as we think about what Jesus has done, what God has done in Christ, this was today's reading for me, and I want to share it with you, and you can reflect upon it. This is from Romans chapter 5, verse 8. But God proves his love for us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. These are good words. Uh, there's, there's a lot to unpack in this short little verse and I encourage you to perhaps go away and have a wee think about it. Notice the first word, but. So that first word indicates that something else is going on for that word, but, to have been used. So maybe read back and forwards around that verse and see what, um, see what the context is of it. But God proves his love for us, and that while we still were sinners, Christ died for us. I love the... Um, the sense of direction in that passage. Um, God has, you know, got God's disposition. It's a bit like the prodigal son story where the father is waiting to come and um, uh, and is looking. God comes to us. While we were still that, God did this. And I encourage you to think about that as we head towards Easter, thinking about what God has done. Um, speaking of Easter... We are, we are collecting these, or should I say, I am collecting these. And um, depending on how things go over the next few days, uh, if there are any survivors, uh, we will donate them to uh, to the local school. So this Sunday, or between now and Sunday, if you can, bring some Easter eggs. We've got a big basket in the auditorium, and um, they can find their way into the basket, hopefully. And... We will share them with the school. Uh, some other bits of news. Uh, uh, on the 4th of April, the rules have changed in terms of vaccine passports. And we wanted to be very clear with you. Uh, we, uh, in, in, in the building and in our Sunday worship and so forth, we will not now uh, be doing anything associated with requiring vaccine pass. So uh, anybody um, is able to attend worship uh, vaccinated or not. And um, you, you, know, you, you, you might you might appreciate knowing that that's that that's our stance. We have um, that we have taken. That's been discussed amongst the church leadership, and we are happy for it to be um, to be relaxed now. So that's um, something. You know, we've got a fairly big space at Oxford Terrace, and there's plenty of room to spread out, which is an important thing for us in this time when um, you know ventilation and overcrowding and and so forth is still a bit of a question. So we've got plenty of room. And we think we're um, able to manage uh, carefully as we gather, whether we're vaccinated or not. So that's our situation at Oxford Terrace. And I think there are most of the items in use. Please pray for for uh, Barry Brinson. Barry has had a, a minor stroke just lately, and he is recovering from that and won't be uh, won't be playing the organ or things like that just for a short period. Um, and we love Barry deeply. We love uh, everything that he contributes to the life of the church here, and we are praying together for his restoration as he uh, recuperates from, from that. And we thank God that Barry um, had the presence of mind. He recognised that something was amiss, and, um, and so the medical people were able to get onto it really quickly, so that's really good. Um, I think that's everything from me today. Hope you, your week is going well, and uh, really looking forward to celebrating on Palm Sunday in our three in our three worship services. God bless you. See you soon. Bye.